Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, today we are going to be taking apart this um, old CPU. Now, um, it still works, but it's really old, and I'm just going to take it apart and get some parts out of it. So, um, these things are fairly easy to take apart and contain a whole lot of awesome stuff. So, you'll see these memory boards here. These are one of the, my favorite things. That's all gold plated along there, and we'll save these and we'll refine them um, in my video on how to make gold from household materials. So, the first step that I'm going to do is take out all of those. So, um, any of these boards here, like that one or these ones, they all have to come out. They'll all have gold plating on them. So, I'm going to rip all those out and I'll be back in a moment. So, um, here they all are. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm actually doing this on my bed. Because if you look around my room, it's uh, quite messy, and I don't really have any room to do this particular take apart thing. So, um, anyhow, these are all the things. So, we got five of these boards here with gold plated on them. And uh, these two I thought would have gold plated, but um, it appears that they have silver plated on them. Now, uh, silver is also good, so we're going to save these. Um, and we'll probably re uh, process the silver in a separate video. I do show a video on how to get it from um, silver relays, and uh, dissolving this in nitric acid much the same way will probably also do the same thing. So um, anyhow, we're going to save those, and uh, these chips on here, um, the big black ones, they'll contain silicon, and I show how to extract that in a separate video. Now, um, I'm also going to use these uh, little teeth, the little things there, See, they're all over. They're called monolithic ceramic capacitors, and they actually contain palladium. So, um, anything with a monolithic ceramic capacitor on it, you're going to want to save those boards so that we can extract off all those um, little things and uh, make some palladium. I'll be doing that in a separate video. So just save these uh, boards. You can see this one has a whole lot of different monolithic ceramic capacitors on them. You know it's a uh, monolithic ceramic capacitor because it should have a little C and then a number written beside it. That means capacitor whatever number. If it doesn't have that, then it's a different type, such as a resistor or something, and we don't want those. Anyhow, so we're going to put those aside and see what else we can get out of this PC. Or, sorry, not PC, what am I saying? CPU. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and I removed the motherboard. So the motherboard has a whole lot of different stuff on it. You can see in there, there's some nice monolithic ceramic capacitors, which are scattered amongst everything. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is a fan with a heat sink, and it just looks up like that normally. But underneath here is a really cool chip that is so much silicon. I've taken apart uh, CPUs before, and there's a lot of silicon, like a lot. So I'll show you that in a moment. We'll be taking that off. Some of the other components of this are uh, little things which have been mounted on to heat sinks and different stuff. And now, a, t a material used... Um, as to bind heat sinks um, to little computer chips for computer parts is indium because it's a very good thermal conductor and um, it molds really easily so maybe we'll be actually be able to get some indium off of this board also I don't know I guess we'll see about that in a moment anyhow um, and then of course all these chips here um, maybe these big ones they all contain silicon so um, I'm gonna take apart some of the more interesting things on this board and show you in a moment Okay, so I took about this big thing um, over here, and um, there actually wasn't any silicon in it, really sadly. And behind the heatsink, um, neither was there any indium. There was just this thermal conductive paste or whatever they put on. But there was a whole bunch of gold-plated pins, which is excellent. And when I broke it in half, you can see inside of underneath this black chip, there's also some gold in there. So uh, there's some more gold, which is excellent. And, um, I also took off one of these big block things, uh, from the one right here. And, um, if I grab this here, uh, there's the little piece thingy from it. And, um, there was a teeny piece of, uh, silicon in there. Um, it's a fair amount, so, uh, take apart those black boxes also. And, um, then also over here, there's, uh, this chip, which also has lots of silicon. So that's basically it for the motherboard. So we're going to go look at the CD drives now and see what's inside of them. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so this fan is really the last valuable thing in here. But, um, I don't really need it, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, so over on the floor here, I took out the rest of the components of it. Some of the cool components are this nice speaker here. Um, and this little... <coughs> Sorry, um, push button thing. Now this is the on-off power button, and this is going to be really useful, so I'm definitely saving that. Now, um, this is the power supply. 
Um, from previous experience, I know that the power supply doesn't really have anything good in it, so I'm just ignoring the power supply. Now, um, here is a floppy disk drive, because this is uh, quite an old CPU. Um, so I'll save this and take it apart, and we'll see what's inside of there. And um, here is a CD drive, and we'll take this apart also and see what's inside of there. Now, um, I know that inside of at least CD drives, there's teeny neodymium magnets. So I'm actually going to take this apart and show you guys them. So I'll be back once I've taken off the casings of these two things. Okay, so here is the floppy disk drive. Now, uh, this does not contain any neodymium magnets, but um, there's a top and a bottom little thing here. Those are little laser diodes. So um, I'm going to chop these off and save those because la laser diodes are quite useful. And then the uh, here is the uh, CD drive here. And uh, you can see the holes there because um, I ripped out the little uh, laser eye reader thingy here. This is what's going to contain the neodymium magnets. So, um, basically you're going to chop off this piece of metal or whatever, and somewhere near this little beam, eyeball beam thingy there, there's going to be two quite powerful small neodymium magnets. So I'm going to be taking those out. I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so stuck to the tip of these pliers here is this teeny little neodymium magnet. Now this is probably going to be excellent for, um, a diamagnetic levitator project which I'm planning to build with some bismuth and a really teeny little neodymium magnet. So um, if you do get a little neodymium magnet, definitely save it because look for that project in an upcoming video. Anyhow, so now you can see how you can take a computer, a CPU, and get all these excellent scrap electronic circuit boards from them. So we're going to be saving these and in a future video we're going to be taking apart um, these getting gold, palladium, all sorts of different elements out of these. So definitely save them. Anyhow, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in some upcoming videos. Okay, bye.